Hi there, welcome to TCM, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight we have been celebrating the movies of Mae West. For the last six hours or so, we've brought you some of West's best movies. Up next, we have one of her least famous films, a musical comedy from 1943, The Heat's On. West stars as a Broadway diva, a longtime diva, who's threatening to quit, to walk off a show, a show everyone is sure will flop. The producer, though, begs her to stay, explaining he'll go bankrupt if she leaves. That storyline in the film largely mirrors what was happening behind the scenes, too. Mae West hadn't made a movie in more than three years since appearing opposite W.C. Fields in My Little Chickadee, which we just showed. Producer and director Gregory Ratoff pitched West on starring in this picture. To West, it sounded like a good idea, and she signed on significantly without even reading a script. When she finally did read it, however, it was lousy, and West threatened to walk. Radoff begged her to stay, pleaded, and agreed to let West rewrite all her scenes, which are wrapped in and around a bunch of musical numbers. The final product is not considered one of the great Mae West pictures, but between 1932 and 43, West made only 10 features, so any opportunity to see Mae West in her prime isn't to be missed. From 1943, also featuring Victor Moore and Xavier Cugat and his orchestra, our final Mae West movie of the evening, the heat's on. 